Only on two tonight, a discrimination claim against the Houston Texans. At the center of it, recently fired general manager Brian Gain. This is that former employee, a member of the Texans' front office support staff. He says in the short time that Gain was GM, a long list of African-American employees were let go. And now he's filed a complaint with a federal agency. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes joining us live from NRG Stadium with a complaint that could lead to legal action against the Texans. Sion? And Bill, this charge of discrimination laying out the case against both the Texans and Brian Gain, as you said, just the very first step in what could be a long legal battle. The Vice President of Security, <clears throat> the Assistant General Manager, uh, Director of College Scouting. Jeff Pope says the proof is in the pages of the Houston Texans Media Guide. Executive Assistant to the General Manager, Director of Cheerleading, National Scout, Pro Scout, Assistant Director of College Scouting. Ten front office employees gone. Senior Director of Player Engagement and Assistant Director of Pro Personnel. Evidence, he says, of a pattern. All African American and all terminated by Brian Gang. Vast majority were replaced by Caucasian. Pope was living his dream. After a 2016 internship with the team, he was hired in 2017 as a security coordinator. A job, he says, wasn't about providing security for players, but rather logistics. It could be as little as taking guys down to the DMV to get their license. But on May 8th, Pope says he was fired by now former general manager Brian Gain, who told him they were going in a different direction. That they wanted someone in law enforcement experience. Pope says Gain created a hostile environment for African-American males. We were called in and talked to by Mr. Gain saying a perception of us eating breakfast together is uh, that we're hanging out. Mind you, there's groups of white men that eat breakfast in there at the same time that we do. Never anything mentioned to them. They continue to eat breakfast in there. Pope's attorney says her client's firing is about more than a change in job description. Filing a complaint today with the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. This is a clear-cut case of termination on the basis of race. The fact remains that the overwhelming majority of people that Mr. Gaines fired were African-American. That's not a race card. That's his employment practices. <laughs> Now, I asked the Texans for a comment. A spokesperson told me, first of all, she says this was not a factor in Brian Gaines' recent firing. She added in a statement saying, we have just been made aware of Mr. Pope's claim. We do not comment on pending litigation. The Houston Texans do not tolerate personal or professional discrimination of any kind. Reporting live at NRG tonight, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sion.